Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math here to do a new problem as part of the Go Math 2015 teacher workshop series. <laughs> We're here doing a new problem from the CBEST elementary math test. It's a great problem because it's going to review some core uh, strategies on solving algebra word problems. You're going to notice with this problem that they present the scenario in a box followed by a uh, question and options and this is going to be a similar structure to many of the elementary and middle school and high school uh, algebra word problems. They'll give you that real life scenario and they'll ask you a question on the question. So a double question here, a question within a question type of problem. So I'm going to start reading it over and as I read it over I want you to think about some of the math that's involved in this problem. Okay, here we go. It says read the problem below and when we read it you're going to visualize it. And then on a scrap sheet of paper, you're going to organize the information. Then answer the question that follows. Wei Jin and Sue are going to drive across country. To reach their destination, they plan to drive about 400 miles each day for five days. If gasoline costs an average of $2 per gallon, approximately how much money should they budget for gasoline on this trip? Then it asks us the question about the question. Which single piece of information is necessary to solve the problem above? Now I want you to read this passage over again. Read it over and I want you to visualize the information that's in this prompt. Now what does that mean, visualize? Well, first I just want to organize the information so what I'm going to do to help me visualize it, organize it. I'll draw a little picture here. And let's say they're starting at point A. And they're going to drive a great distance of, for five days, they're going to go to point B on this road trip. All right, I don't know how long this distance is, but I know they're going from A to B. I do know it does tell me that they're going to go 400 miles per day. So I could put down uh, 400 miles per day, and they're going to be doing that for about five days. So that could be like 400 miles per day times five days. And that could get me the distance, 400 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20, so 400 times 5 is 2,000 miles. And guess what? That's our total distance from point A to point B. I could have thought of this as our rate, this is the distance per day, times time, the number of days we travel, is equal to the total distance. And this is, our, this is our distance formula, rate times time equals distance. All right, so now I have a model drawing that organizes the information that's in um, the first three sentences. Then I get to this last piece. It says, if gasoline costs $2 per gallon, approximately how much should they budget um, for this uh, trip here? We know that it, they're going to go 2,000 miles, and we, haven't, and we, we know that it's going to cost them $2 per gallon. So how much is it gonna how many how much is it gonna cost altogether? I mean, how much are they gonna need for their budget? And then it says which piece of information is is missing here that's necessary to solve the problem? Well, if you drive, maybe you don't, maybe you do, but if you do, you know that if you're gonna go two thousand miles and you're gonna be pay you're gonna be uh, have to pay uh, two dollars for every gallon. That what you're, the missing piece of information is how many gallons you're going to have to purchase for $2, $2 a gallon. And what we need to know is a little information about your car. We need to know how many, ga how many gallons, how many miles per gallon your car goes. So if we knew that your car traveled, let's say, 20 gallons per mile, uh, 20 miles per gallon, we could do the division here, 2,000 miles divided by 20 miles per gallon. And we could come up with the fact that you're going to need 100 gallons in order to do this 2,000 mile distance. So that would be 100 gallons times $2 per gallon. And that would get us, you know, our budget here end up being, what, $200, which is a great deal for 2,000 miles. But 
thing is, they don't give us this piece of information. And, and when we look at our answer choices here, we see that B sticks out. The number of miles a gallon travels per gallon of gasoline. So this one right here, you might have been able to just identify that this was the missing piece just from your background in driving, if you drive. If you don't have a great background in driving, or, or let's say you weren't so sure, setting up this model drawing just helps identify the pieces of information that you do know. For example, on the, from the scenario, you could pr pretty much determine the total distance of, of their trip. You know, 400, 400, times five, 400 miles per day times five days is going to get you the total distance of the trip. So that one, you know, that's already answered. It's not a missing piece of information. Um, the number of uh, some of these you could eliminate because they're, they're not they're totally not necessary. Like how many miles Wei Jin drives, uh, Wei Jin drives, or uh, the number of times they stop for gasoline. Not not really essential. And this one right here, this is where I think you know some people might pick this. Uh, the number of miles the car travels per hour. It's tempting, but it's not the answer. It's not necessary. What we're missing here is the number of miles the car travels per uh, gallon of gasoline. Okay team, this is Chris Abraham. Have a great day. Take care.